But first, a tragedy touching so many tonight. Hundreds gathering to remember two teen girls killed by a suspected impaired driver. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Todd Quinones. And I'm Trisha Keen. The girls, both just 16 years old, were headed to McDonald's when they were hit near Twain and Maryland Parkway. Let's get right to 13 Action News reporter Joe Bartels, live where the vigil was held tonight. Joe. Todd, Trisha, those two families are just absolutely grief stricken, as you can imagine. Take a look at the vigil that continues to grow out here. About 300 people gathered tonight at the very spot where the girls were killed on Monday. The girls were clearly loved by so many. Friends and family wore blue to honor 16-year-old 16 16 Lila Mora and Nelly Amaya Ramirez. Tragically, we learned both girls were only children in their families. Both were straight-A students and were in the mariachi band together. Tonight, friends held candles and then released balloons. Prayers were said in both English and Spanish as everyone tries to deal with the senseless, tragic loss. Set Lila, we also uh, learned, was seen by many as a miracle baby. I know that they were trying very, very hard for so many years to have a child, and Citlali was their only child. And it's very sad that this has to happen. And just remember that it might not, your, it might not be your life the one you're taking because you're drunk or because you're impaired, but it's this family that you're taking and many other families. And you leave a big hole in their heart and their souls, and it's a shame. Their families say both were walking to McDonald's on Monday night when they were just steps away from making it when they were hit by an out-of-control vehicle. The woman accused of hitting and killing the young girls, 38-year-old Ebony Whitaker, admitted she was high on meth, PCP, and heroin at the time of the crash. Court documents show Whitaker also had some booze at a friend's house just before the crash. One witness told police Whitaker appeared out of it as she was pulled from the crash vehicle she was driving back out here live. You can see the, the, uh, the candles and the flowers that have continued to grow here since this tragic crash. The families have not yet announced funeral arrangements. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. Joe, thank you. And the woman accused of hitting and killing the young girls missed her court appearance earlier this week. At last check, she was still in the hospital. She is expected in court again on Monday. Stay with 13 Action News for the latest on this case.